In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to install the PicSnub plugins manually for the cases where CCX installers do not work. There have been some issues recently with CCX inst installers on certain machines and they won't work. And this is affecting, I would guess, less than 1% of the users. So it's a pretty small percentage. Um, however, it can be difficult to get those to work if your system is one of those that's affected. And the issue is not with PixNub itself and it's not with the installers. The issue is actually with your Creative Cloud installation. This is happening to all developers across the world and we've been working with Adobe and Adobe is trying to um, solve the issue, but there's several things actually causing this. It's not just one issue. So there's several different issues that can cause this and hopefully Adobe gets those all resolved one day. But in the meantime, if you have to install manually, I'm going to show you how here. There's a few things you need to know, so make sure to watch this entire video so you can see how to also uninstall and how to prevent double installations. Now, before you install manually, I suggest trying to get the CCX to work. So the first thing you'll want to do is restart the computer. And if that doesn't work, um, before I discuss the other options, just to discuss CCX in general, if you double click, this is supposed to open Creative Cloud, and then it's supposed to, from within Creative Cloud, launch the installer here. Um, so what's happening in certain cases is when you double click this, sometimes it doesn't open Creative Cloud at all. And other times when you double click it, people are seeing um, a window, or Creative Cloud opens, but then they'll see another pop-up window open and close really quick. So for either of those occurrences, um, there's also another thing that can happen too that will say, um, it'll try to open Photoshop and tell you that it's not a valid document type. And for e any of those three cases, um, what you'll want to do is right click on this CCX and select open with and see if you have an option to install with the unified plugin installer agent. This should be there, but if it's not, that means you have missing files in your Creative Cloud installation. And this is part of Creative Cloud itself. So if you have that, click on that to run that, and that will launch the install process. Now, if you're missing that unified plugin installer agent, um, you can try reinstalling Creative Cloud, and that often brings that back. However, if you have that and it doesn't, the installer doesn't work, or if you reinstall Creative Cloud and you're not getting that back, at that time I suggest just running the manual installers. Now, just to explain a bit before we do this install process, you can see that I've already got in the manage plugins here. I've already got PixNub installed. So if I go to um, plugins, um, manage plugins, and so for the case where you want to update your install, you're going to have to remove these first. Or you don't have to remove them first, but you have to remove them at least before you run. So you can install first and then remove them. It doesn't matter the order, but they have to be removed. So we'll be installing the plugins under the Photoshop plugins folder. But as you can see right now, there are no PixNub plugins there, even though those plugins are installed. And the reason why is when you run a CCX installer, it does not put the plugins under the plugins folder. The, the plugins folder here, his, or it's was, was historically where you would just copy and paste plugins to install those. When Adobe introduced this new plugins menu, um, they changed how the plugins were installed and these do not go under the plugins menu, or at least not by default. And initially, I don't think plugins would even work for this new style of plugin if you put those there and, and developers were told that that's not where they're supposed to be installed. However, as it stands now, plugins will work if they're installed in this plugins folder. However, if there are plugins already installed from CCX files, it'll use this version, which is the version not under the plugins folder, and instead of using the ones that you install. So 
that was a lot of talking, so I hope that made sense. But anyway, what we'll do is the easiest way to find your plugins that are installed. So under Manage Plugins, if you click on this Installed checkbox, you can see everything that's installed. And in any of the PixNub, you'll just need to uninstall. So I'll go ahead and uninstall all of these. Okay, now that you don't have any more PixNub plugins installed, what you'll do next is download the manual plugins um, installer files, and this comes in a zip folder. So you need to unzip that. So right click if you're on Windows and hit Extract All. On Mac, if you just double click, it will extract them. I'm just going to extract them to the desktop here. So now that I have this folder here, under that folder, we'll see we've got a folder called PixNub, and underneath that, there's a folder for each of the plugins. Now, don't try to move any files around inside of these folders here. Just leave all the files exactly structured as they are. Um, if you want to install all of the PixNub plugins, you can just drag this whole folder called PixNub and put that into the plugins folder. And on Windows, this will be under your C drive, under Program Files, under Adobe, and then Photoshop 2023. Or if you want to put them in 2022, you'd have to also put them in 2022 as well. But I'm just going to put them in 2023 here. Now, if you want to install individual plugins, instead of doing this, you could... Um, Go into your manual install. Oh, I, since I drug the folder over and erased it, it actually moved it out of there. But in any case, you could install just one of the folders. So if you only wanted easy green screen, for instance, you could put easy green screen by itself without the PixNub folder, and then this will only install Easy Green Screen. I'm just gonna undo that here so I've got everything. Which, for a lot of users, that's what they wanna do anyway, is just install everything. Okay, so now that I have all of these installed, I'll have to restart Photoshop. and all of the plugins are there. But one thing I need to show you though, is even though you see the plugins here, everything works fine. Um, you will have to activate if you've installed manually, most likely. But um, what, I what I wanna show you here is that if you go under plugins and under manage plugins and installed, you are not going to see the PixNub plugins under your manage plugins anymore because these are installed manually under the plugins folder in the Creative Cloud desktop, um, the plugins is not looking for plugins under the plugins folder here. I know it's kind of counterintuitive, but that's just the way it is. Um, so in the future, if you need to update PixNub to a new release again, what you'll do is you'll just delete this PixNub folder, download the latest manual installer and unzip it and put that in here. And that's all you need to do to update it. Um, it ha what you can also do in the future is the CCX file issues may be fixed from Adobe. And so in that case, what you would do is you could run the CCX installer. If the installer works properly, then it will use the CCX that you just installed. And in that case, you can just come in here and delete this folder 
because this folder is no longer needed. If you've installed CCX properly, it's not gonna hurt to have both of them. It just won't use any plugins under the plugins folder if those were also installed through CCX. But if you do upgrade with CCX later and that works, it's um, you can just come and delete this if you want to get rid of that. Anyway, I hope that all makes sense. Um, and then hopefully in the future, Adobe fixes these issues with Creative Cloud so nobody has to manually install. But in the meantime, that option is available and it will work. So thanks for watching.